Hey, how you doing? Welcome to test video number two. The first ever Dateline 420 video newscast. This one probably won't work either. We probably won't use this one, but here it goes. Because I gotta try, gotta make it happen. Because I gotta get the fuck out of here. I got things to do. I don't know why I'm still here. I don't know why I'm playing to the camera. I don't like that. I hate your camera. Anyway, I need to talk to you about a problem that is so big, so pervasive, so terrible, that simply to write about it wouldn't do it justice. I'm talking, of course, the issue of ladies' fashion in 2008. Have y'all lost your goddamn minds? For real. For real? You, you, you got these awful shoes, these hideous shoes that look like slippers. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Five seconds. I don't like them. You shouldn't like them. Shouldn't be wearing them. And I think I'm too hungry to do this properly. Yeah, I am. I am. I'm too hungry. I'm gonna make more food. I like to eat. I like the food. Yeah. And I'm, I, 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 I'm just gonna throw caution to the winds and go out there and say your slipper shoes look dirty. They look dirty even when they're clean, even when they're new. They look dirty. They look fucking small, they make your feet look like little Japanese lady feet, which is bad, they're not hot, they're not okay, and you really just need to throw them out, they look like just dirty, fucking slippery, slipper shoes, nobody likes them, I don't know why the hell all you do, it's, it's, it's bad when you wear them, it's worse when people that are just big in relation to their shoes wear them, because, and, so it looks like you have really little itty bitty feet. You look fat by comparison, which we'll get to actually. There's there's a whole there's a whole thing about fat and chicks. Uh, moving right along, right up. The leg warmers are the top part of the sock. I found out where the bottom part of the sock went. Y'all are wearing them now without the top, without the leg warmers. Leg warmers are okay, cause they're kind of hot. But these stupid fucking ankle socks are not okay. They're not hot. They're just pointless. It's like the lower half of the sock. People really aren't interested. You may as well just no, no, I'm not gonna go there. It's not okay. Alright? This is your wake up call, female America. Get a whole sock. Something that actually has a little substance above the shoe line. The shoe line. Alright. Get on the shoe line. Anyway. The socks, the shoes. What else don't we like? You know what? It starts here. Little dresses, little dressy, shirty things, like little halter tops worth of material up here, and then. Bloop. Now, it's cool when they're really super short and you have. No, actually, no, it's not cool. It's not cool at all. It's not even a little bit cool, it's not okay, it doesn't look alright. You know why? You look pregnant. Doesn't matter how skinny you are, doesn't matter if you haven't eaten in a year. You're wearing the, the hemline that starts up here. Makes you look pregnant. Period. End of story. So that stuff, that's gotta go. Alright, everybody's doing it. Everybody's doing it. Oh. Doesn't make it okay. I'm sorry. It's gotta go. Table self-destruct in five 
Now, let's talk about your big ass sunglasses. They make you look like you're being abused. You look like a battered woman with those big fucking shades on. Take them off. Get some decent shades that are like the size of regular people's eyes instead of like... It's just not okay. You look like you're being beaten. So, unless you want random guys to attack your boyfriend because they think he hits you, lose the giant shades. It's not okay when Mary Kay does it. It's not okay when Paris does it. And it is definitely not okay when you do it. You're not famous. There is something about women's brain chemistry that makes them think they're fat and unattractive, even when they're not. Usually, they're actually pretty, but they don't see it. Other people see it. Ladies, it's not okay for you to judge yourselves, unless, of course, you decide you're hot. Unless, of course, you're not actually hot, in which case, still kind of okay because it's confidence booster and confident women are a good role model for unconfident women. But stop calling yourselves fat. It's not hot. As far as that goes, fat chicks can actually be hot. Apparently nobody got the memo. Hot chicks are allowed to get fat. Not too fat. Don't stay fat. But big ladies need love too. I don't know if you want to let them sit on your face. Might be a, you know, I met some ugly skinny chicks that I wasn't fucking money. I know I've met some really hot fat chicks. So, stop putting yourself down. Nobody is self Now, for reasons that I couldn't even begin to get into, I'm gonna click the stop button. Because. I need a goddamn cheeseburger. I do. I don't have one. But I could throw some chicken noodles together and make chicken and noodles on a plate. And I need pizza. And I could have chicken noodle pizza. That would be awesome. Oh yeah, I should do that. Okay. I want to thank you for suffering through this, the second test video of the Dateline 420 Digital Newscast. I think my brain deserted me, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do a third take. Don't know if I'm going to use this one. Pretty sure I don't like it. Pretty sure I hate it. You make me look bad. So, that's it. I'm out of here.